game one. Game and watch. Me brawler. What a weird. <laughs> what a weird set this is gonna be. Nice. Alright, starting off with the grab up or up. So it's a flip kick, yeah. To Nair there. Oh yeah, and then the straight up up B just to challenge that and then the command grab. So what? it's probably <laughs> Yep, so so oh, yeah, we also have that, too. Um, the bucket reflects projectiles now in right. Ultimate as well. So, I mean, yeah, Game & Watch. I mean, honestly, the only projectile that Meat Brawler has is the shot put. And the shot put, like, that thing is going to go nowhere if it gets reflected. That's what I'm saying. Maybe I feel like that's already a counter um, to a green uh, character right now. Got Bacon coming up as well. Trying to apply some pressure in the middle. Oh, looking for that bear off stage, but unfortunately going to get flip kicked right over it. And you know what? Catching the landing with the dash attack, you know, how's he going to cover this option? Oh, he was expecting the kick that time, but you know what? Not going to find it. Drop down there to f -tilt? Yeah. What? That was actually really clean. Vader. <laughs> I mean, Vader is definitely the type of player to play super patiently and waiting for his opponent to open up. But unfortunately, throwing out a hitbox right there, not in the best intentions, because he gets forward smashed to death for it. Yeah, you don't want to get forward smashed by a new He died from across the stage. Ooh. Wow, what is that grab like? I believe that's their down B. Or, or no, that's their side B because their flip kick is oh, the down like B. Oh, like a command grab. Yeah, th that's a command grab. It doesn't kill, but it does like 20%. So it's nice damage. I like that, like, it, it kind of looks like a uh, Zero Suit's uh, bouncing fish. Or not bouncing fish, excuse me, the flip kick, flip kick move because. Uh, I mean, it basically it, is what yeah. it does, yeah. Who gets the grab and then back throw? No, going for the up throw and the up air. And just keep on juggling them with all these up airs. Yeah, he's juggling them a lot with the nares and up airs there. Game & Watch definitely has a lot of tools here that I feel like beats out. Um, Meat Brawler, so it's actually pretty even considering all of uh, all of that. Yeah. I like how he's like hesitating on when to do the second part Ooh. of the kick because it makes uh, Vader kind of question like, okay, can I punish it now or do I have to wait until he actually kicks? Mm -hmm. So there we go with punishing that back air and yet again with punishing that there and unfortunately going to get up out of that situation. Okay, yeah, that nair looks like hit from behind too. Oh, you know that she wanted the command grab right there, but unfortunately the bacon is going to interrupt that. Yeah, bacon's really good. Um, and ultimate, it does a crazy, it does really good damage as well. I think it does like 3% per hit, and so like... But like the, how much you can like throw it out, it, right. it adds up, and especially if you're like your heavy character. But alright, both players actually playing really patient here. Here we go. I mean, they're just playing the spacing game at this point. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're just trying to space each other out, waiting for the other player to uh, come in first. All right. Utilizing faking again, trying to call out a, a jump here with uh, Nair. Oh, hits the mini hit with the up B, and you know, unfortunately not going to punish the roll in, but yet again, you know, I feel like Vader's just uh, getting away with a lot of stuff, but almost dying to that dash attack at 130. Yeah, Game & Watch's movement too is so fast, super quick. Ooh, gets the spike hitbox of the side B. The Nair, not going to be quite enough, but maybe the shot put. Vader's movement, yeah. It's really, what was that scream? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, the fair bomb. Oh, wanting uh, to bait uh, the roll in with the fair bomb there. I like that. Right. He was going for that down smash. You know, he wanted it. Would have grounded him, would have gotten a free up smasher. Pretty much anything at this percent. I mean, you know Green's just trying to find that kill. I mean, Game & Watch living beyond like 130 is amazing already, but mm -hmm. 170 almost? Like, that's yeah. practically unheard of for a Game & Watch player. And yeah, you know what? Honestly, not even not enough to kill at this point. Maybe now, but no, it's still <laughs> now. It's percent, yeah. though. Why are they both living to one, almost one Oh my god, he go. died to upbeat. Not, not even the, the spike hitbox, but like, at this point, I feel like the only way Green's going to win if he gets a super cheesy up B kill. Like, throw him off stage, up B, and then kill him. There, not enough with the shot put. Shot put finally lands its mark. I mean, with uh, with Vader also Oh my god, does he have a kill throw? How early he, he can die, too, especially giving me Brawler Rage. Um, he's still playing it safe. He's not being too aggro, even though he knows he has huge percentage lead. 
I mean, I don't even know if he has. He doesn't have any kill. He was at 200%. No kill throws. Oh, yeah, no, oh that my throw God. is definitely not going to kill. I mean, he saw up throw a little bit earlier trying to do it, but oh, my God. Oh, my God. And up throw now. Yeah, that should take it. Just no. Oh, oh, I mean, he doesn't have rage, but, like, that should kill. Death, okay, yeah. we're, we're going to sudden death percent soon. Oh my like god. It. If Maybe if he dies, timeout, if he this. No. Oh my god, uh, the there. There we go. Oh my god. You can see Green be like, oh my god, I, I almost I almost cheesed him so hard. And I feel like at that high percent for both players, like you're if you're Vader, you're just scared that like you're just gonna run into an S smash and die at like forty. Mm -hmm. You know? So here we go on to game two. Oh, are we going Kalos here? Like to see it, this is a really big stage though, and if they're already struggling to kill each other, just having like the higher ceiling, bigger stage, uh, we might actually see them live to these crazy percents again. But we do have the platforms at the opposite uh, ends of the stage there, and that is great for uh, trying to get edge guards or going for plays off stage. Going for extended Very combos. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. That, that was cute. That was cute. Getting 38% uh, off of the air tough beat. Right, make it a good make it not getting that grab. Up beats just. Safe option, especially out of shield. A lot of yeah. hit and run too, uh, right. coming out from green as well. I mean, he definitely knows that like, if you rush in against a Game & Watch recklessly, you're gonna just get bopped, you know? So, uh, Game & Watch is all about abate and punish. You know, he has a lot of tools that can keep opponents out, but he doesn't have a lot of good approach options either, so. It's all about baiting out those aggressive options that are kind of like laggy, kind of unsafe on shield, unsafe on block, and then punishing those on landing. Okay, here we go. Going for that back air, though. Ooh, Ooh that drop down there to down tilt. Yeah. That was pretty clean. That actually, the down tilt kills surprisingly pretty early. I mean, that last. Strong move. I mean, that like. Fast fall Nair is such a good combo tool from Game & Watch. You know, it combos into down tilt, it combos into forward tilt. Like, I'm pretty sure it could combo into up if it really wanted to. Yeah, it's, it's a great tool. It's Nair. There you go. Ooh. No! Oh Vader! God. Vader, you oh are... God. Somebody needs to clip that. Oh, my God. You, you, you are a goon right there. He's more than a goon, he just popped off. Oh my, oh my god, Vayner, please. Ch channel, channel Chill. this inner inner Sith Lord to just say, you are dying now. Dude, the judgment hammer is so, like, it's really fun. If you get stuff like that, that's so rewarding. This is what makes this character super unique and fun. Man. All right, well, green, sitting at 68%, 70% now. Um, stop. Deficit here? Is he gonna be able to bring it back? I mean, you, you can imagine without know. that nine, this would be like even stocks at this point. But no, this like Vader just is running away with the game. Yeah, it just looks really difficult for Green to get in, uh, especially like with the options that he has uh, to get in safely. Look at that! Already aware that he's gonna want a shot put off stage, has the bucket ready to reflect it. Uh, man, great awareness from Vader here. I mean, this is one of those matchups where, like, you do not want to give Game & Watch the lead at any point in the match. Because at that point, he's just going to camp you out. Because he has no reason to approach at this point. Mm -hmm. He's just going to feel free to be like, okay, I'm just going to throw back airs, and if that whips, I'm going to up the safety. Yeah, he could play safe the whole rest yeah. of the game however he wants now. And meanwhile, Green's at, shoot, like... 104%, yeah. percent yeah. I mean, she, she did leave the two. The yeah, she did live to 200%, so if she can pull that off again, you know, like, honestly, you want to know the scary thing? This is a better position than it was in game one. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you know what? Vader going in deep for that <laughs> up B kill and no finds its mark. Yeah, no, that's it. And yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah. I mean, that was, I was fun yeah. to see that <laughs> Vader right. throw out what he, uh, 